guys, Nerdy Noob here, and guess what? I have a very long-awaited video for you. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2016, I'm gonna say December, Bobo's box. This box kinda took a break, I think. I don't think I got a November. I don't even remember when the last time I got a Bobo's was. It seems like forever ago. September was the last time I got this box. So September, October, November. So I didn't get October and November. I think that they were in the process of revamping their company a little bit. I know they've done a Kickstarter thing. I'm not really quite sure what happened with all that. But anyways, let's go ahead and check this out. Now, I do know, and some of you guys had mentioned this last time, that they increased their pricing. So I will make sure I put the updated pricing in the description below, just in case you're interested in getting this box. They know... That could have been so bad. They no longer have the three month plan like they did before where you could basically pay $90 and get three boxes, which would be $30 a box. I think they increased it to 30, I don't remember, $35 a month? I have no idea. Anyways, check out the pricing below for the most up-to-date pricing. All right, guys, let's check it out. Now, I did go on there because I thought that my plan had actually run out. So I went on there and I saw that they have this like new mega option that you can buy it's like a hundred dollars and it's supposed to be like super mega i did actually purchase that along with a one month subscription to the box so i don't know what this box is gonna be i'm assuming this box is just gonna be the regular one that i paid for i'm not really quite sure guys anyways once you cut the tape and you open up the box this is what you're gonna see Now, for those of you who don't know, just a friendly reminder that Bobos is a box that makes customized boxes for people. So when you sign up, you have to do a questionnaire with them, and then they send you items that pertain to what you filled out on your questionnaire. So if you watch YouTube videos, my box is going to look a lot different than everyone else's box, and you might actually hate everything in this box, but this box is going to pertain to things that I like. So I see some Ninja Turtle stuff, some Super Mario Brothers, so they kind of know the items that I like, and then they fill the box full of the stuff that I like. All right, here we go. The first item we have is a Funko Pop. This is a Casey Jones Pop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There you go. Oh, this is an exclusive. This is a Funko Specialty Series. So this is probably one of the ones that they had, I'm assuming that they sold on their website, which is really cool. There's a little cartoon version. And this is the ones that you can get in, that, in this set. I was actually looking at getting some of these Ninja Turtle ones and they had some exclusives at some of the stores like I went to FYE and I think there was an exclusive Leonardo. It was like the black and white version. So this is very, very cool. That's really cool. I think this is the first time. I don't usually get exclusive pops from Bobo, so that's really cool. Next we have a, ooh, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Loyal Subjects collab, which is really cool. I think I've received maybe one of these in the past. So let me show you the ones that you can get. Those and those. What do you think we got? Ooh, and there's chase figures. They call them chaser figures, but there's a red one that's one in 24, a blue one that's one in 45, and a black one that's one in 96. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. I tend to always get shredder in these things, to be honest, but hopefully we got a Ninja Turtle. This is a cool little, like, chrome pack, if you can see that. Ha! <laughs> I'm, it's, it's so true, guys. I'm not even kidding. I always get Shredder in these mystery packs. Always. It's so funny. I get so many Shredder things. Keychains, everything. Anyways, we got Shredder. Focus. Focus on him. Focus on him. F -f -f Focus on him. It's not focusing on him because he's gray for some reason. Okay, can you kind of see him? Anyways, that's what he looks like. Very, very cool. His arms move, his joints move. It's really, really hot because the heater's on. I need to turn off the heater, I'm like dying. Hold on one second. Okay, so yes, we got Shredder. It also comes with some accessories right there. So that is very cool. Shredder's just two and 16, so he's just a common. That's so funny, guys. I didn't even really feel around to see if it was Shredder. I just made that comment and then it was Shredder. All right, here's a little Bobo's letter. So this was the third box of my three month subscription. So when they did the price change, I was still on a three month plan. And so this is the third and final box of that three month plan. So the box that I went on, cause I went on their website and I paid for the big, really big box that they had. And then another subscription, like a one month subscription or just a one, 
box subscription or just, I don't know, whatever. So those ones will probably be coming in the future. Remember, this box doesn't automatically renew, so I'll have to remember to go on there and renew each month, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I think I can handle it. The next item we got is, oh, these are really cool. So this is a Mario figure. This is 8-Bit Mario. Did I already get this before? I feel like I've received this before or something of this sort, but I actually really like him a lot. He's super cool. I love Mario. We've got a few marker pens, and they have um, Powerpuff Girls on it. I wasn't the biggest fan of Powerpuff Girls. I did watch the show, but I didn't really get it. I was just not, it just was not my style. I was, again, more of a Nickelodeon kid, and so I didn't really watch, I don't even know what network they're on, Cartoon Network or something. I didn't really watch it. Like, I've seen a few episodes, but I never really watched the show. Next, we have a pack of Smarties. To be 100% honest, this is probably one of my least favorite candies ever. I just never understood them. I never got them. I never really liked them. The only thing I liked doing was like putting them between my fingers and squeezing them really hard just because they have the little like grooves. It's kind of weird kid like that. Ooh. This is a pack of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger trading cards plus one power cap. That's what they call it, power cap, which I'm assuming means pog. So let's go ahead and open this. This is from 1994. So here's my power cap. It's like stuck on. Uh, we got bulk. Gross. Not the pog I'd want again. And then these are just like scene cards from the show. They're kind of stuck together because they're kind of old. You've got like the old putty people and Zach. That's not focused, but he's fighting a, put a putty person. And then here you have them just awkwardly standing behind a green screen. That's funny. And here you have Boldar. I'm excited for the new movie to come out, and I'm kind of like worried a little bit. I can't decide. Not really quite sure what I feel about that. Then we have just another pack of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cards. These are just cards, no power, uh, what did they call it? A power pog, a power cap. Oh, this is cool. So this is a picture of their morphers. These cards are like all stuck together. Here's one of Tommy. Here's one of Jason. He's fighting a putty guy. Oh, I like this one. We got a holographic Megazord. I opened a pack recently and it had a holographic Yellow Ranger, so this is really, really cool. I like that. Holographic Megazord, very cool. And the last item in the box that we have is an Adventure Time. This is an Adventure Time graphic novel. That is really cool. I like this. This is cool. Now, Adventure Time has been one of those tricky uh, cartoons where it's like, is this an adult cartoon or is this for kids? Because kids actually know Adventure Time, but I've heard some mixed reviews about it, but I'll check a look at this, and this would be a cool one to be able to put in my office, well, in my work library for the kids, if it's appropriate. I have to look it, into it. Look, they have a whole section on BMO. Very cool. Okay, that's all the items in the box. Let's go and do some pricing and recap. Here we go. We had two packs of the Power Ranger cards. I'm just going to give each pack of those $2 each. So that's $4 for the two. This Casey Jones pop, this is a Funko exclusive, so that means they sold it on their website. Because it's an exclusive, I'm going to go and give it $15, which is about how much it's actually going for online. Maybe a teeny bit less, but it's actually going for about $15. These uh, Loyal Subject Mystery Figures, I don't really know how much these are going for, but I can imagine because I know Loyal Subjects is a pretty intense brand. It's almost like Kid Robot. I'm going to go and give this $10. That seems really, really high. But I think if you were to look it up, that's about the price that it costs for one of these, to be honest. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I would say 10. I mean, you might be able to give it 8, but I'll get, go ahead and give it 10. Because I, I, I know that those types of figures are a little bit more pricey. This 8-bit Mario figure, mm, I feel like you get this at... I think I've seen these at Target before. I'd probably give this thing probably around $5. I think that it's just kind of your normal figure. You might be able to give it maybe six, but I would say $5 is, is pretty decent. These Powerpuff Girl marker pens, I would probably say that these are about maybe maybe a buck fifty each. So three, four fifty. We'll give five dollars for the pack of three. Uh, the Smarties can get 25 cents. 
that's actually really expensive for Smarties. And then this Adventure Time graphic novel. This is priced at $10 US. It's actually going for like $10.50 on Amazon, but we'll go ahead and give that $10. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $49.25. Now I do think I overpriced a couple things like you might be able to give the book a couple dollars less. You might you might be able to give these figures a couple dollars less. I think everything else is about about the right pricing. I paid for this specific box. I only paid thirty dollars because this was the last box on my three month plan. So I got nineteen dollars and twenty five cents extra value on top of what I paid for this box. So we'll say nineteen dollars flat. That's really good value for a thirty dollar box, which I usually want to get ten dollars extra value. Um, again, they did increase the price, and so I don't know what the new price is. I'd have to look at it because I don't remember off the top of my head, and I have not put any of the new pricing on my videos. So I want to say that it's like thirty five or forty dollars. It's a little bit. More more expensive now but for this box specifically I'm happy with the value it's really really good value and a cool mixture of items now if I had to rate this box I would probably say that I'm not a, the biggest fan of Adventure Time and I'm not a huge fan of the Powerpuff Girls I liked everything else in the box I actually even though I'm not a huge fan I actually really like this graphic novel I like any kind of graphic novel that seems kid friendly that I could bring to my work library because it's just good reads for the kids so I'm excited about that I actually am really excited that we got this um, Casey Jones Funko Pop, which was a Funko store kind of exclusive sort of thing. So that's really nice because I don't usually get exclusive pops from this box. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. Only because half of the items I wasn't a huge fan of and the other half I was but it got really good value. If you liked everything in this box, you could easily give it a five, but because there was a couple items I was like, eh, not really my style, I would probably say a 4.5 out of 5 noobs, maybe a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. I do enjoy the types of items that they gave, and I also enjoy the value, so that's there, which is nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Again, I only paid $30 for this box technically, so um, for that price, it's worth it. Uh, check out the new pricing that I put in the description below to see because I'm assuming that even with the new pricing I'm still gonna get similar types of items and similar value So we'll see with the new pricing if it's technically worth it or not I'm not quite sure because I don't know what the new pricing is right now um, But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the items down below and remember if you subscribe to my channel and your Subscriptions are blocked or set to private you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page Which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Whoa. <clears throat> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I didn't actually take a breath and that was awful.